What's up you guys? Forrest here with the FOCO Flow Show. Excited for today's episode with a trail peak video of the Massanutten Western Slope Trails. These are the single track trails maintained by the Shenandoah Valley Bicycle Coalition uh, just on the other side of the Massanutten Resort outside of Harrisonburg, Virginia. Lots of awesome trails here, so we're gonna hop right into it. Make sure if you like the content to like and subscribe here so you can see all the new videos that we have coming out. And in the meantime, let's go find that flow. Western Slope Trails are located about an hour from Charlottesville, Virginia, in Kieselton, Virginia, about seven miles from Harrisonburg, and uh, just up and over Route 33 uh, across the Skyline Drive and the Shenandoah National Park. Pretty easy to get to, and it gets you into a nice uh, parking lot area where you can get ready and geared up for the ride that you see here as we get ready for our trail ride that we went on this past weekend. To clarify, these trails are on the western slope, the western side of the Massanutten Peak Mountain, uh, and is on private property where you have to purchase a trail pass, and this is separate and different from the Massanutten Resort trails on the other side of the mountain. So kicking things off here, we start on the Virginia 54 trail that connects to some gravel double track and then out to the boundary trail, but all three are kind of green trails, easy warm-ups on the lower sections as we start the climb up the mountain. Once you get above the pond there at the bottom of the trail system, you connect to a couple of different options and we're taking the lower granny bypass here which is starting to get a little bit rockier as you're starting to traverse up the mountain and getting into some of the features that uh, Western Slope is known for. Climb, climb. Going down it, yeah. Once you get to the uh, end of uh, the lower granny bypass, you get to a intersection of trails where you can go back hard left up to the layered nose and downhill section that gets you to the far side of the ridge. You can do what we did here, which was to connect a handful of trails that kind of go down uh, a piece called Layers Downhill over to uh, a trail called IMBA to Three Creeks and ultimately all the way over to the Boy Scout uh, trail that we'll get to in a little bit. It's kind of kind of goes down to the creek crossing before you really start the stiff climb up the actual uh, mountainside. So we stay yellow, right? All right. Woo! That sounds outstanding. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> So the Boy Scout trail that you see here is more of the same, some pebbly rocks and some uh, mild climbing starts to flow around and you'll get a feel for the light traverse up uh, the side of the mountain range before we get to the upper ravine trail that starts to take you straight up to the rocky ridge. Hey, 
in a champagne supernova in the sky. I think we came up there before to the right. Yeah, that was nice. Alrighty. Up a ravine. So the tight switch back here and the pink diamond puts you onto the pink loop and the upper ravine trail. This is where you start to really gain some elevation. It's about a mile long and uh, 364 feet of climb. It's actually pretty mellow overall until you get to this upper section here uh, where there's some significant rock tech to work from. Usually a hike go bike, but we turned around and rode it downhill, which was pretty fun. A little switchy back. Dun, 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 dun. Switchy back, switchy back. Day started out as a cloudy day. But either way, it's a good day for mountain biking. <sighs> Another switchy back. Pedaling like a hack. But now there's no turning back. That is that is I know. <laughs> so as you see me sizing up the final rock climb to the ridge here, I suppose somebody could use Jeff Lenowski trial hop skills to get up this thing. I don't have those skills, but uh, descending is doable. So we turned around and sessioned it really quick. Here you go. Drop it in. <laughs> nice. So once you get to the top of the upper ravine trail, you're rewarded with the Kaler's Knob Ridgeline and gorgeous views. Uh, not a long trip from here to the overlook that you see here, where you get fantastic views of the actual Massanutten uh, ski slopes and resort area. Uh, and then you sort of walk up the steps and on to the upper peak trail, the ridge trail there that gets you to uh, the puzzler. So. Lots of jagged rocks the farther you get down that trail. Uh, a lot of hike and bike unless you're feeling super technical until you get to the start of the trail we've all been waiting for, the Puzzler. Extra tubes. So I have one extra tube, but I mean, the, uh, the old line here is not incredibly apparent piece for piece. So I just think better safe than anything else right now. So here we are at the start of the Puzzler Trail, about a 1.1 mile single track trail that drops about 400 feet from the peak. Uh, it's super rocky but amazingly super flowy. You have to ride it to see it for yourself. It connects around to the Special K Trail and then dumps you all the way out at the gravel fire road at the end. Not a full pull here but we'll highlight the best parts and maybe do a separate video where you get to see everything inch for inch all the way down. Herb. 
puzzler, puzzler lines, puzzler lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Oh, no chance. <laughs> Come on, baby, throw it out. Yeah, that's right. That'll let me pedal. Maybe nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. that right baby here uh, technically ends the puzzler trail and connect to 4k or special k which flows switchbacks more rocks all the way down to the Dell web sort of gravel fiber that runs through the main outside part of the trail man that's on video loose Loose. You're not tired, are you, Jim? I am. <laughs> Oh, baby. So good. <laughs> so from the gravel road here, you've got the option to hang a left back into some more single track and take you uh, along the Homestead Trail. But we opted to pedal the mile or so gravel climb back up to the almost the overlook and start of what you see here, which is the 2000 hour 2K trail. This is another super fun, super rocky, uh, sort of traversy, mostly downhill trail that'll allow us to connect through um, back into the main trail system with some more fun, chunky chunder. Uh -huh. mm. 
think we all right. Yeah, it connects around. Oh man, that was no joke. Baby, not the flow that I was liking, but we got it. Hurt. Whoa. That was no joke. So finishing up the 2K trail crosses back over the gravel road and you have the ability to go down the gravel road or connect here to the berm trail. I was worn out at this point and we uh, basically just went down the berm trail and across Homestead. A lot of other fun content, but effectively a net downhill way to get back to the trailhead. So here's the relive video of the route that we took. There's tons more out here, but I hope you found the video useful. Check out the opportunity to get up to the ridge, check out the rocks, and then as you swing around, uh, you find them multiple ways down the mountain between 2,000 hours and uh, the Puzzler Trail and a handful of other ways if you like ridge riding. They even run the Massanutten Hoo-Ha XXC and Enduro races here in the area when it's not a quarantine pandemic situation. The Shenandoah Valley Bicycle Co Coalition does a fantastic job reinvesting in these trails and they're always building. So just an awesome, awesome trail system to support and to get out there if you love rocks. Don't forget, if you plan to head out there, you do need to pay for a trail pass or a yearly pass at SVBC so you are able to ride there legally and watch for closures in the wintertime. Otherwise, let's get out there and find that flow. Yeah.